Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Most smartphone manufacturers are still struggling to get Android 11 on their devices, but already Google is working on Android 12. And here we have few images, which possibly might be from early testing of Android 12. So in this video, let's take a look at those images. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. First of all, all credit goes to XDA team who updated an article about Android 12 showcasing the pre-release of Android 12 images. So here you can see the first image which shows the notification panel and hopefully we're gonna see lots of UI changes. On Android 11 we get these tiles around 6 tiles in single row but on Android 12 here you can see only we have 4 tiles available. The size of the tiles have been increased and also changes in the shape can be seen. Basic stuff like date and day is still present on the left side as we have it on Android 11 followed by battery percentage, battery bar, signal strength and Wi-Fi signal status. But there are few changes done here under the notification panel where you can see the conversation tab is completely different followed by few other notifications from Gmail and Google Photos. And as we all know that Google gave priority to privacy feature on Android 11 and it seems to be like they are still more focusing on privacy on Android 12. So which can be seen here on the right top corner and it's a quite useful feature whether you get an information that device has been using your camera and my on android 11 and this feature initially started with ios where we used to see color dots for microphone which was orange and for camera it was green but on android 12 we're gonna see the complete icon of camera and microphone if both the things are used at the same time and then later you have this conversation tab where you can see this orangish color and obviously we're gonna see more changes in the ui of android 12 and then we have this second screenshot where you can see green color means camera is being used and orange means chat used the microphone recently. And now here you can also see that two new additions have been done under privacy from where you can completely disable the camera and microphone. So whenever these two options have been disabled, I think we need to manually allow permissions whenever we use that application. And another screenshot also shows the home screen layout. But if we compare to Android 11, we don't see much of changes here. As I said, whenever the camera or microphone is being used, which can be directly seen on the home screen of your device. And now coming to the camera portion, here also slight changes have been done. As usual, when camera and microphone are used at the same time, you can see these options at the right top corner. But slight changes have been done related to UI also. Now option to switch between the lens have been moved towards the top side. If you talk about Google camera 8.0, which is currently present on Android 11, in that switching between the lens option is at the bottom side. And one of the best feature which I have been waiting to come on Android devices is related to widgets. So hopefully Google is working on the new widgets for chat and other stuff which you can see in this screenshot and these widgets are placed on the home screen. Here you can take a look at the conversation widget which will show you recent messages, missed calls or other activities which can be added from the widget section. So guys these are the few images from Android 12. I personally like the changes done with Android 12 as it's an early look to Android 12. But seeing these pictures, what do you guys think about the changes done in Android 11? Let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.